So then in this task 18, um, we have a not too complicated circuit. One voltage source with some series resistor. So we could say this is, this is some ideal voltage source, but the series resistor turns into um, a real voltage source. And so we, we could say, okay, this somehow maybe belongs to the, um, to the source. And then we have three resistors, two in series and one in parallel. And this whole um, load maybe, or this whole circuit is then of course connected in series to this resistor here and to the source. And we have all the values. And now the question is, which resistor is the one with the highest power loss? And how large is this power? So how would you calculate this ideas? Desmond. Power is voltage times current. So power is voltage times current. Okay. And so this is what we could write down for any of these resistors. Um, so I could say, okay, the, the power at the nth resistor we get from the voltage drop at the nth resistor and the current through each resistor. So we would need to have all these currents. Um, so I will call them I1, I2, I3, and I4. And now we can see, okay, I3 and I4, they will be the same because it's the series circuit. And we need these voltage drops. So we need V1, V2, V3, and V4. Okay. So how do we get these currents and voltages then? We could, we could do some equivalent resistance um, and then we could use the source voltage to get the total current and then we can work our way through the circuit. So the total resistance or equivalent resistance of the circuit would be So at first we have R3 plus R4. Good morning. So this in parallel to R2. to R2. And then R1 is just connected in series. Okay. So we can try to insert values there. Um, so R3 and R4 we can read here is 30 and 75. So this would be 105 ohm. This is what we have in parallel to the 210 ohm. And then we have um, in series 30 ohm. How, how can we calculate this parallel uh, circuit? Uh, uh, connection. 105 times 110. Yeah, the, the product of the two divided by the sum. And of course, uh, this is, yeah, something that you can try to do in your head. You can also, of course, simply use the calculator. Um, I would say the, th this is twice as large as this one. So if I would calculate, if we would have, let's say, have a one ohm and a two ohm resistor, um, we would have two divided by three. So two, two thirds of the smaller one. Um, so we have two thirds of 105. So 105 divided by three is 35, right? Um, and 35 times 2 is 70. So the result here should be 70. Yeah. And you have, used, you have used the calculator and it's also 70? Yes. Excellent. Okay. And 70 plus uh, 30 is 100. So we end up with 100 ohm. Okay. 
So then we can try to make our way a set uh, through the circuit. So we have 100 volt of voltage at a total of 100 ohm. So how large would be this total current? Say again? 100, uh, so um, current is voltage divided by the resistance. So in this case, it's the source voltage uh, divided by this total resistance. So we have 100 volt divided by 100 ohm and ohm is volt divided by ampere. And then we end up with one ampere of current. Okay, so one ampere of current will flow through this resistor. So what can we calculate next? The voltage drop across this resistor. So this voltage V1 will be... Exactly, so will be the resistance times this current will be 30 ohm multiplied with 1 ampere and this gives us 30 volt. So the voltage drop here is 30 volt. So what can we calculate next? We could, ca we could already calculate this power exactly. So we could say okay the power at the first resistor will be um, 30 volt times 1 ampere. So we get 30 and the unit is what? Okay, um, how to continue? We could use the current divider, for example. So, um, how do we use current divider in this case? So, I3, for example, Yeah, so it's the, if we want to have this current, it's <coughs> the resistance in the other branch divided by the total resistance in, um, yeah, in the meaning of this, the, the series connection of all these. So it would be R2 plus R3 plus R4 uh, multiplied with the total current and the total current is I1. So, um, if I insert the values, it's 210 ohms in the numerator and it's 210 uh, plus the 105, I will write it down like this, 105 ohm uh, multiplied with 1 ampere. Okay, and yeah, if we calculate this, uh, no, no. Current divider works like this in a way that it's the um, um, yeah, it's it's the resistance in the other yeah. branch, and then divided by the total resistance. Total resistance in terms of we we run around, we we have the. Yeah, let's say the mesh around these two circuits. Um, so this should somehow work. Two it's two over three. It's the same as what we had before, two over three. So it's two, th yeah, two over three ohm, two, two thirds uh, ampere, sorry, ampere. Okay, so this will be two thirds So what can we calculate next? The I2, the I2 here, uh, because I2 will then just be 
will be the total current uh, minus this current and this will be one third ampere. Mm, so do I have some space here to write this? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Would there have been another way to calculate these currents? There's always a different way. <laughs> okay, we will see later on. Um, so, what, what's, what's next? The, the voltage drops. So now we can get all the voltage drops. So um, V2 would be just the second resistance times the second current. So 210 uh, multiplied with this 1 over 3. So uh, just this divided by 3 gives 70 volt. And the voltage V3 is this resistance, this is the 30 ohm multiplied with 2 thirds of ampere. And um, yeah, this gives us 20. And the last voltage V2 is the last resistance, 75 ohm multiplied with the same current, 2 over 3 ampere. And 75 divided by 3 is 25, and this multiplied with 2 gives us 50 volt. Okay. Um, so as a last step, we could just calculate these remaining powers. Just by inserting all the voltages and currents. So here we have... 70 volt times uh, a third ampere. Here we have 20 volt and 50 volt. Um, no, I, I, I don't think so. Okay, so all the values and now just the calculation. Um, 70 divided by 3, okay, this is difficult to calculate, but it should be something like 23.3 watt. Um, tw yeah, 2 thirds of 20 is 13.3 watts, and this uh, a third of 50 is 16.6, .6 and this multiplied with 2 is 33.3 .3 watts. So the resistance with the largest power is this one here and this largest power is 33.3 33 watts. Okay, um, what questions do you have so far? Then I said, would there be another way to calculate this? Probably. Probably. Uh, so what, what, what could have we done instead of this current divider here, for example? If we, we have calculated the total resistance, equivalent resistance of the circuit, we had calculated this first current here, the total current, and we calculated um, from this the first voltage drop here. The we could have used the voltage divider. But um, the voltage is the same because it's in parallel. Yeah, the voltage here and here is the same because it's in parallel. And we could have found the current. Oh, and we could if at first we could have found this voltage here yeah. because this should be the difference between this source voltage and the voltage we want. So if we have a hundred volt here and thirty volt here, this should be seventy volt, and this is also what we calculated. And so if you have 70 volt going through, uh, or, or no, not going through, if you have 70 volt across a 210 ohm resistor, the current going through this should be um, voltage divided by the resistance. So this is one third of an ampere. 
So if we have one ampere going to this node and one third is going down here, then we need to have two thirds going in this direction. And then we could also calculate by the same way these other remaining voltage drops. Okay. Um, yeah, but you could also use um, a voltage divider directly at the beginning to calculate some voltages. Uh, there, there would be several ways to do this. Okay. And last thing maybe to discuss is um, can we can we do some proof with the powers some some check uh, that this what we calculated here might somehow fit. Because this is all, this is a power that is converted into heat. This is a power that is converted into heat and, to, uh, and so on. But wh where does, where do all these powers come from? Yeah, so if we, if we would calculate the power from this total resistance, um, and say, for example, the, the total voltage drop that we have is 100 volt. And the total current that we have is 1 ampere. So the total power is uh, source voltage times this yeah, first current, source current. And this is... 100 volt times 1 ampere and this gives us 100 watt. And so how do th these 100 watt correspond to what we have here? Some. The sum of them, exactly. The sum of all the power that is lost in all the resistors. So if we calculate the sum, um, yeah, so this 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, this would end up with 1. And so we have um, yeah, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 would be 10. And we have 30 and 20 is 50. This is 60. This is 90 plus the remaining 10 gives us also 100 watts. So this perfectly fits and perfectly makes sense.